Good evening. Welcome to Owlbear Night. A night where the story of this creature is given to you and only you for tonight. The owlbear is a genetic mutation thousands and thousands of years old created by an ancient advanced civilization that once thousands of years ago was in the area of North America inland. Owl bears are generally six to eight feet, sometimes even larger, with the body of a bear cross spliced with the head of an owl. Their eating habits share both of uh, mammalian characteristics as well as avian. They will hug you and crush you as they peck your inwards out. These aggressive imposing creatures have been sighted everywhere from the Cascade region to the outer sk outskirts of Yellowstone National Park as well as uh, the Mount Rainier section and the areas of Mount St. Helens. Some might have been mistaken for Bigfoot from a distance, but the sound they make is quite unlike that of a Bigfoot, uh, much more of a higher shriek. Um, Native American legends in the region of uh, Shasta have made mention of this mutation and uh, the fact that they tend to be um, underground dwellers. They uh, live in caves. Here is a painting of an owlbear family a long time ago as described in the rare written findings of a Native American tribe up north on the borderline of Canada who through their descriptions, this wonderful Western portrait emerged. This is a less terrifying version of an owl bear. You notice the hump of the grizzly, and uh, this was a genetic uh, slice of a barnyard owl before there were barns, uh, before there were us here in it was in the day of the giants. This is a uh, model of what was to be a 18 foot tall uh, park statue in the town of Eureka, California for the owl bear, which is gaining in popularity over Sasquatch. Um, though it's been rumored and it's hard to find the evidence that there, the Sasquatch and the owl bear have actually um, some kind of genetic similarities, I don't know. The owl bear, I believe, was genetically created by a forgotten race. Uh, maybe the stories of the Lemurians might actually be sort of a uh, sketchy remembrance of this particular race. Um, and I believe that they were created as sentries to guard the caverns that were numerous that they built from town to town due to the environment changing. These elders, this old civilization cannot exist on the top surface anymore. Um, maybe a polar shift, uh, possibly at meteorites, um, volcanic eruptions making the atmosphere poisonous. So they became underground dwellers um, as we will be in our own time, and they created uh, guardians of the entryways, and also they just liked having fun with science, just like we do in Monsanto as well. In the turn of the century, um, there were diary entry entries uh, by miners uh, who were actually quite literate and wrote extensively about the owlbear and often had in their small mining camps uh, special days of the month put aside for celebrations the same way that one would honor the devil being that the devil's domain is underground and you would want to be on the good side of the devil to work in within his domain without too much problems. This is an owlbear this is another picture of an owlbear. 
This is a very odd uh, form of an owl bear. You could tell it's uh, possibly a leader. This is a polar owl, owl bear. They they do exist within uh, mountainous regions and even Arctic uh, environments. They do quite well in. There are many. There are different species of these. Over time, they've uh, adapted to their environment, mutating as need be. So I beg your respect and your consideration for the owl bear as possible warriors and food foragers in the future when um, the, our atmosphere shall get worse and we'll need a uh, guardian of source with much better um, physical sensibilities than we have. So all together, all praise the owlbear. All praise the owlbear. All praise the owl bear. All praise the owl bear. And thank you for coming out to Vlad the Retailers tonight for the Owl Bear Festival. Up next is a documentary called San Pedro Pyrite.